Hey guys, how's it going? T-Man Plays here with another Warno game for you today. And this is going to be round two of the Warno monthly March tournament uh, versus a wooden box here playing as the second Panzer Grenadier. And we're going to be playing as Uternum Zentrum. Um, so yeah, basically strategy for this game. We know he has access to a lot of Leo 1A1s. Uh, he does have access to Leo 2A3s as well. Uh, we know... He has a lot of genus, so we don't want to go uh, heavy in the air with any helicopters at the beginning. Basically, concentrating on the ground forces with the FS Jaeger Metis here and some Scharf Susan just to basically spot anything in the middle. You can see I'm just basically putting some Scharf Susan in the back here to be able to spot anything that he puts along the edge here. I'm going to secure this with some Pioneer AGI and some Panzer Jaeger. Not bringing any AA though, as we know, he doesn't have really access to any attack helicopters, only ATGM helicopters. Um, but his recon usage here is a problem for me, because I don't want him just to fly above my line and see all my units. So I'm going to have to order an SU-22 uh, rocket just to deal with this helicopter. So we are going to deal with that, but do get hit by an IHawk in the back. And unfortunately hits both shots there, takes us out, and right away see just a bunch of Leopard 1A1s coming straight down the middle. So, unfortunately for us, we didn't really concentrate at all in this area. So, our FS Jaeger Metis are going to have a real hard time dealing with all these Leo 1A1s. Our Buk, unfortunately missing there on uh, the Genus, not able to take one out. And you'll see we're just trying to take out as many Leopards as possible here uh, with the help from the uh, ATGM team. But once these Leo 1A1s get in range, our FS Jaeger just gonna get shredded there. So I am buying a cluster now to try and just cluster this uh, clump as our Mook continues to miss shots on the Gina here, which is amazing as this has zero ECM and the Buk has a 55% chance to hit. So really unlucky there. So I'm trying to get uh, the cluster to drop. Um, I changed targets at the last second there though, so it is going to cause it to veer away. And I'm just trying to find the best spot to drop where the most leopards are. So you can see a bunch of them here. So going to change targets again. Unfortunately, it causes our plane to turn back around. And I'm going to try one last time to where I think they might be which is probably around here. Uh, so we do drop, but it looks like most of them went to the right. And we do get hit by an IHawk as a thank you there. On the left, we are getting some ground uh, with our FS Jaeger Metis teams. And I am going ahead and going to move up my CV just to start a tick. I got a Panzer Jaeger to deal with all these Leo 1A1s. Going to unload that in the building here in case he decides to rush down this road. And I'm going to move my book away as I see these uh, 1A1s starting to get close in this area, which is a huge problem for me as I basically have nothing here. I'm going to have to rely on this uh, ATGM team here to deal with these. And our command here has no uh, AT option. So unfortunately, just going to have to try and keep him hidden for as long as possible. But we are at least gaining good ground on the left here. Able to kind of capture this little town area. Push in deeper. And he does spot my command. So now that's going to go down. And we have a huge issue uh, with our front line. As there's a bunch of Leopard 1A1s. And we basically don't have anything to deal with them. So trying to get rid of his eyes in the sky. Calling out another SU-22. Just to take that out. As... We still don't really have any AA on the ground except for the Buk here. And we really need to take out as many of these recon helicopters as possible. So on the right here, dealing with the FS Jaeger with our SPW-70s. And just moving our infantry to the building here. That way we can at least uh, hold somewhat control of the right side. Our Panzer Jaeger getting in range of the 1A1s here. At least... 
uh, able to damage one severely. And our other Metis team is going to be looking for other Leos that might have snuck through our line. Metis team here. Was going to move them through the tree line to kind of get close. Uh, unfortunately, though, gets caught out in the open and does miss the first shot there. So we're going to have to pull him back uh, so that he doesn't get destroyed. As you don't want these guys taking shots out in the open. Missed the second shot as well. Moved up to Book to try and take out the second recon helicopter here. Thankfully, second to last missile hits. It's here. ATGM team here trying to catch out the retreating Leopard 1A1s. I did get another Metis team just to park in this building to further cut off this area. On this side, Panzerjäger cutting out some flame infantry. And we are at a nice plus one because we at least do control the left side and we're starting to stabilize uh, the middle with our Metis teams. So I am ordering two more Metis teams here. Uh, the idea to unload these in this little tree line and then move them across to these buildings. Uh, that way, with the help of the recon here, I'll be able to shoot like stuff like the Luxes and the 1A1s uh, with the double Metis, possibly be able to push back in to this area. Let's see our Metis here, trying to take out the 1A1s that are coming in. And we're going to move some supply to help them. Unfortunately, the Luke's here, though, gonna spot my Sharpsusen and our rocket plane. Not really gonna be able to do much. It's gonna get hit by the IHawk. And the next IHawk there actually gonna take it out. So I do have two, 60, two T64 BBs now. Uh, one just to help with any advancing infantry across the open. Uh, the other here gonna basically cut off uh, this road. And we have a helicopter showing up as well, just to further help with any type of infantry I eventually try and use to push back in here, as I want to get back in here as quickly as possible. And I'm just continuing to try and hold the ground on the left side here. As he hasn't really pushed anything uh, in here infantry-wise yet, we can deal with the Leo 1A1s as long as we're keeping our meta supplied. CR-264 trying to deal with the Leopard 1A1. He is going to make it out, though. And now we're going to move across our Metis teams uh, from the side. Our Metis here going to be getting a nice shot on a Leopard 1A1. And our HEGM team here going to be catching out one in the side there. So, really well-placed ATGM here. This was helping me out a lot. It's allowing our Book to also retreat. And our Metis teams on the right, trying to finish off the Leopard 1A1. But this allows us to sneak in the Panzerjäger from the building here, as I have the T-64s guarding the front. So we can sneak in the Panzerjäger, pretty much destroy any Leopard 1A1s that are in this area. Uh, the Metis team here, not going to be able to do much against these Leopards. Do get a shot in the side of one, though. And just going to be retreating this to repair it later. Some Sharp Susan here. Gonna go down very easily as I'm getting aggressive with my T-64 now. Uh, because I don't think he actually has much in here anymore. As we see, a lot of 1A1s and... Panzer Grenadier pushing in the left now. I did move out my CV uh, because I do have the zone captured. I don't need to keep the CV in there, and I want to keep the CV alive. But basically, I'm trading the left now for uh, access back in the middle. See the Panzer Jaeger do destroy a Luke's there, and our Metis teams are able to get across to these buildings. Our Metis team here. Able to start trying to catch out some transports. And Box gets a CV back in the left here. But our Metis team at least going to be able to cause some damage. As I feel like he is now going to start uh, pushing 
down into my left zone, so I need to start getting some reinforcements here. I do finally get some supply for my uh, ATGM team, and you'll see now I'm retreating all my units and ordering some infantry to the outer edge here, as we've pretty much lost complete control of the left. Do have command infantry coming for the middle. Uh, that, that'll stop the plus three here. And we have a T-64 moving up on the left uh, just to stop these 1A1s. I'm going to basically move it to this area. And we have a lot of infantry coming up. So T-64 here going to be dealing with the 1A1s. Also able to deal with these martyrs pretty effectively. As we do hit our ATGM there. And our MI-24 VP going to be moving up to basically deal with some of this infantry. Uh, does look like he has some Fliegerfaust here that I can't spot though. As well as some Fliegerfaust in the north. So going to have to pull that helicopter back. As we're moving our Buk back to the middle here to support uh, this area. So, Panzer Jaeger catching out some of these Leo 1A1s. That's going to force him to retreat. And I have some more Panzer Jaeger and Machutsen moving through the trees there. Let's see our ATGM team firing back on all these Leo 1A1s. And we're now moving across with our T-64 to further gain control of the middle. As well as moving these BTR-80s across this area to kind of just see what he has here. So, spotting the Fliegerfaust, I'm going to try and deal with those. Um, some Chinas with HE coming in, and our Buk still doing a really bad job of dealing with these Chinas with the zero ECM there. Finally, gets at least one hit that damages both. Uh, so, that's acceptable. T64 ca catching out some transports there, and we spot the command. I was originally pushing across with the Metis, but both teams are out of ammo, so we're pulling them back until we can resupply. Um, he does have some infantry that fired at my T-64 here, so I'm going to smoke that off, pull it back, as we don't want that getting side-shotted. And you'll see I'm finally repairing my injured T-64 BV in the back here, so that I can push it up here. Panzer Jaeger catching out the Martyrs. Doing a great job dealing with all these martyrs and IFEs that come up. Uh, unfortunately, though, kind of get stunned down on the way and not able to finish the last one. And you'll see I have a bu bunch of infantry now that I'm just kind of routing behind in the back to cut off any reinforcements that he's going to send down to the left. It's like an ATGM spotted my T64 BB there. We're now moving up some fire support just to gain back into this uh, middle section. As the martyrs here are going to easily be able to deal with our Pioneer AGI. Uh, but now our T-64 fully healed, going to be able to push up and I'll start to help with some of those engagements. So I did manage to get a Panzer Jaeger in here, uh, but unfortunately while it's engaging the Fliegerfaust, all these units are able to spot it and uh, destroy it. So should have moved that a little deeper in to the area. And our T-64 misses the shot on the Martyr 1A3 there. But at this point, we're 15 minutes into the game. We've now stabilized the middle. I know I have the armor advantage. And we're at nearly a 300 point lead. Uh, so you can see, just rushing in these T-55As to destroy this Panzer Grenadier because I know they're fully stunned down. And we've got some supply for our Metis teams coming up. And I'm feeling like he's pretty weak on the side, so we're just going to keep pushing up our T-55s um, as far as we can get him, basically. And it goes super defensive on this right-hand side for the moment. So now that we have the ammo back, our Metis teams, as well as the T-64 BB, going to easily be able to deal with anything that comes out of this little tree line. Uh, 
this one is out of ammo though, so we're gonna have to pull that one back. Uh, hopes of repairs later. Have to cross my and my 24 VP to deal with all this armor. And on the left here, we are uh, starting to lose ground as um, our infantry is going down to these Leos and Pioneer Flamers. So gonna have to get some T-55s just to further secure the ground. T-55s go down there to the Panzer Grenadier, but still being super aggressive. And let's see if our Book can actually kill Agena. Does get the first hit there. Misses the second. Thankfully, the third shot. Finally going to be able to kill one of those Genas. Um, got a little too aggressive with the Metis teams here. Um, because of all the fire support, we're just getting basically stunned down instantly. Um, so pulling those back to the building. Gonna resupply those. Basically just keep them here and use the T-64 to take out the Leo 1A1s. Since I do have the T-64 here, I knew his AA was in this area, so I can push up my MI-24 VP pretty aggressively. And I'm now getting some recon for my tank, as well as pushing up some infantry back on the sides. So you can see just large infantry clumps uh, that we're slowly trying to deal with. T-64 here, though, in a bit of danger as these 1A1s are very numerous and they do eventually end up taking that out. Uh, Cluster going for the Lukes there just to take out his recon on the ground. Do get the Lukes destroyed. And we're going to try and pull back our helicopter now for repairs. Box does get a command somewhere in the zone here, so gonna have to now deal with that as that puts him at a plus two. And my control in the middle uh, is not looking so good anymore just because of the numbers of 1A5s and 1A1s that he's been sending in. Uh, pretty hard to deal with all the numbers, especially with just kind of Metis teams. Really need more heavy tanks in this area. So T-55s finally arriving. Um, don't want to be too aggressive here, though, as I'd, I'm not sure what all he has. I'm assuming he has a bunch of AT infantry, possibly Leo 1A1s here. So just slowly uh, trying to advance on that. We do get our SBW 70s, though, in the back. So Machutsen going to be able to freely get into his back line there. And that'll at least buy me time in taking back the left here. Our... VP does end up escaping, so we can land that now, uh, steal some of the supply, and send it back in action. T-55's able to clear the ground here, and our T-64 going to move across to help deal with these 1A1s that are poking out, as well as, well as the Sharf Susan. And since our Metis team is damaged, going to pull that back and push up our other Metis team, as well as the BTR-80s here, just to deal with any infantry. Let's see, we catch out a retreating Leo-1 there. Some recon moving up. And we have two T-55s going to secure more ground in the back, uh, if we can. Let's see, now I'm starting to push across my T-55s on the left here. Kind of scout what he has as our T-55s on the right are pushing aggressively into his back line. T-64 getting shot from multiple sides, so we're going to have to pull that back carefully. And our VP, um, another VP, as this one is being repaired, is basically coming in to try and deal with any infantry here, as I don't suspect he has a lot of AA, which turns out to be a good call. So... Not shoots in. Try and get an RPG on the CV there. Are gonna miss the first shot though. And the cluster plane was going for the 1A5, but I believe I did something to make it change targets at the end there, so it gets called away. And I spot a little clumping of Leopard 1A5s here, so going straight for that. You'll see. 
going to get a nice triple stack there of 1A5s. And our cluster is going to be able to make it out alive. Gina coming in for the VP. Having to pull that back to safety. Hit it over the uh, coverage of our Book. Book thankfully hits two shots in a row. Able to take that out. And we're now at a plus three as we took out the command uh, in this zone. And our Matsuts in here doing a good job of just cutting off his reinforcements. So now I'm going to get a little aggressive with the CV because I feel like we just broke through his line again. So I'm going to start routing the CV uh, towards the zone. As you can see, all his infantry having to unload early because of my units here. And I now have Recon in the middle. It's going to allow this T-64BB to uh, kill off any units that we spot. We have a nice solid hold of the right side. Followed up with some more Recon in case he pushes anything here. We have decent AA. Um, these Strellas, I can basically move them to wherever I need them. Uh, the Book going to be able to control the skies in the middle. And you can see now... I'm going to cross T-80B as well as the Metis team uh, to the side because I want to get control of this ridge as quickly as possible. Tornado trying to come in for the VP there, but the Book now uh, is going to be able to take that out pretty easily, and we can just pull these back to repair them. Uh, do spot some supply there with our CV. Going to decide I don't really want to push into that aggressively anymore, as I know he would have spotted it there, so I'm going to move up the T. 55 in front of that, and our T64 BV going to be moving uh, over here to basically deal with these 1A1s at range. We spot a plane coming in from the far left there to kill my helicopter. Uh, that was a wise move, but Book will be trying to finish that off. Gets the last shot, and it's enough to kill another Gina. So BTR-80 is basically slowing down the infantry here. T-64 BB supporting. Gonna have to pull back my other T-64 as some 1A1s here uh, kind of caught me out. Do have the helicopter to support the retreat. He does get a nice shot on though. Leads me down to 1 HP. Really fortunate not to lose that there. That's it. A lot of forces now coming back in on this side. But you can see we're now rushing an infantry on the left. Do lose one squad of mod shoots in there to a 1A5. Unload the second in time though. And now we're back to a defensive posture on this side. And our advance is going to be on the left. As you can see, moving up T64 is to the edge now. Moving back the one that was highly damaged here to repair. And just going back to uh, defensive in the middle. T64. Able to kill off all the armor that approaches. And we're now feeling comfortable enough to move in our CV. As we kind of split up this infantry uh, and move it throughout the zone. Cluster going straight for the CV. Box realizes this, starts to move it to the side. Um, he does have good anti-air though with the IHawks, and he's gonna actually be able to take out that cluster before it can get to him. And you can see here, just moving up these SPW-70s to see what all he has here. Use him as kind of a scouting force. As we now have a comfortable position back on the left. Leo 1A5 is trying to sneak around there for my CV, but but thankfully, we had the mod shoots in, in place to be able to deal with that. And we're getting really good trades in this area as we have good recon positions. So now I'm feeling comfortable to push up uh, my T-80Bs. And you'll see basically playing with no AA on this side uh, because we know his deck doesn't really have any attack helicopters. So all we really need is the book. Uh, and maybe like one AA piece to deal with recon helicopters. 
so that's why we have such a strong presence basically all game it's because we uh, sacrificed AA uh, for ground units so now that my heavy tanks are up here it's gonna be really hard for him to push across the open ground I did push up my SPW 70s all the way in the back here just to spot what he was uh, reinforcing with kind of when it would get here so I could uh, debate if I needed to move these guys forward but he does have reinforcements on the way uh, but because of our strong advantage and ground position there uh, a wooden box is going to surrender and that's going to give us uh, the win here so you can see Metis teams did a really good job of dealing with the 1A1s same with the ATGM teams Panzer Jaeger didn't do too bad uh, the Buk here killing off all three of these Genos same with the Tornado F3 um, so that was basically uh, holding his air at bay and our T-64B just basically cleaning up. Um, as you can see, this one performed really well against uh, the 1A1s and Martyrs there. Really being hard for him to deal with. And our cluster getting the nice three stack of 1A5s. Uh, same with the Luke's A1 there. VP just basically supporting um, our infantry pushes, supporting our tank retreats. And for the other side, box with the 1A1s here, just being a big nuisance um, against my infantry. Really good fire support. The IHawk did a nice job there, killing off the SU-22s. But yeah, Leopard 1A5 there, killing a lot of T-55s. Same with this 1A5. So yeah, um, fun games. Hope you all enjoyed watching them. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Later.